Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to give an update to the Pound Aussie trade as prices move nicely in our favour but it is a Friday so we could be looking to close the trade by this afternoon. Now just looking at what we looked at previously we discussed the sell zone and the fact that the market was downtrending uh, quite nicely and making these nice lower lows lower highs and breaking through so we looked for an area where the market could move lower from and we looked at this uh, these lows in particular and this sell zone between the low and the previous current highs so what we looked at there was a nice sell zone a fibonacci came in as well around 382 around this zone which also was interesting to us where we could see price continue to move from we did get triggered nicely actually only just kind of touched our entry and decided to move lower which is a, a, almost a, a nice perfect trade there um, these don't happen too often um, so it's nice when they do come up so i'm just going to delete this fibonacci a second and delete this arrow which was part of our analysis before if i could just move this take profit area okay now what's happening today is obviously price has moved in our favor already and typically when the market does move in our favor in the asia session in the european session we do get a retracement but you know looking at the daily structure um, you know price still is really in our favor what we don't want to be caught up in is a potential spike up from this key level so there is an actual level just sitting around these lows where the market has found uh, previous support and resistance points what we don't want to see is the market kind of create a higher low and bounce up into these sorts of lows around about the 18157s so you can either watch today's price action if today's price action finishes bullish you can look to close the position we're already up a good one percent uh, so currently we're up about 1.38%. So you could look to close the position now and just take profits for the weekend. Or if you just want to protect the position, you could move your stop losses to break even and you won't lose any on this trade. You'll just be looking for a potential for this market to continue into overall targets, which is around 2.2, 2, I think it was, or 2 but 2.5%. Um, R and R. So, all we're looking for is this continuation. It would be nice to see the market just drop back into this level, form a double bottom pattern before doing any sort of decision making. Um, but this could be forming a higher low. We do have this little bit of support in area as well. So, be careful with this. I do ex do expect it to come down and hit those levels. But it is a Friday, and we do see a lot of tight pro. Uh, lot of markets um, reverse on a Friday. This is due to um, you know taking profits by uh, traders and also kind of switching around positions on a weekly close so just be aware of that if it was a you know if we were in this position and it was a wednesday for instance uh, you know i'd be happy to leave this open uh, but because it is a friday you, you're allowed to just kind of you know manage as you see fits okay so hopefully this is a good enough update hopefully uh, i've answered some of the questions there was another question uh, from uh, tommy i believe about a forum we don't offer a forum uh, currently um but you know i will add this to the suggestions um and uh hopefully we can see something from that but i can't promise anything too much from that so thanks for watching this video update um if you've watched the youtube video and like what you see and you want to see more please like and subscribe and if you're watching on trading view give us a follow comment below um how do you see this market playing out thanks speak to you soon